Today, we're going to take these 20-year-old Toyota OEM wheels and transform them into these black, modern-looking masterpiece wheels. Starting off with cleaning, I'm using this Mother's Wheel Cleaner and just a brush. The Mother's is okay, but I used Turtle Wax a little later and it performed about the same for half the price. Since I am just painting the drums right now, I am not using too much detail. Here's just a scotch Bright pad on my orbital sander. Adding in the center caps here. A quick wipe with alcohol and two coats of rust self-etching primer that I like is good enough for the inside of these guys. I used some of this Napa chassis black on some parts and had some left over, so why not just use it here? In between the two coats of black, I used a rotary tool with a sandpaper attachment to get into the lug grooves of the center cap. Here we are on all four jacks. Whoa, whoa, hold up. I never explained why I only painted the barrels. Well, I did because the wheels had hammer on weights and those would value to me. So I wanted to paint the insides and use stick on weights for tire balancing. As you can tell, I already have two of the wheels off. And you might be able to tell, but we got the new tires on so we can move forward in painting these fronts. I ended up using the KO2s because they were the cheapest for me. Uh, my brother actually had these on his truck. Uh, he had an F350 and believe it or not, that had 16 inch um, wheels. And um, these are like barely worn and he sold me those for about half price of what they normally go for new. But now we can move on to getting these wheels off, cleaning them up again, and then just kind of fixing the surfaces on the fronts. I picked up a sandpaper kit and started with 80 grit, then blew off all the dust with compressed air, washed with soapy water, and used my drill with a wire brush attachment with paint bubbles that are stubborn as that person wanting 20k for their third gen. The time for Bondo was with us. I used a spot putty and my finger, but with how thick my layer was, the regular Bondo probably would have been better. I've never used either, so this one with the one part solution had more appeal. After the Bondo was dried, I got the entire thing sanded with 400 grit. This step takes some patience and smoothness to have the finest finished project. More compressed air and cleaning, then I pulled out the valve core to make taping easier. I was able to put weight on the tire and slip the tape between the bead. Somehow I made a glove appear in this bad transition, but it was time for more isopropyl and attack cloth wipe. Now it's time for this quote unquote professional paint. I've never used this stuff, but we'll see how it goes, I guess. I already shook it for two minutes, that's what it says on the can. And then you just take this little guy, I guess. There's a little nub. You put it on that. And then just press down, I'm gonna do it on the floor. Okay, it's just like a button, I guess. And then you shake this for two more minutes and paint. While I let that coat dry, I just took a little detour down to my parents' basement. Um, you've seen me film in the garage most of the time, and I've done a little bit of work, but most of it has been in the garage. Um, my girlfriend, Charlie, and I were able to finally move out and get an apartment. That's why videos have slowed down a little bit, but it just makes me feel grateful. I'm actually in my own bedroom right now. Just grateful for everything that I have and everything that I've earned. And also super grateful to those people that are overseas or have been providing protection, whereas I don't have to worry about my life every single second of the day. Whole different subject, um, but I just want to take a moment to be grateful down here in my old room and just say thank you to you guys too but yeah enough of me just ranting let's get back to painting matte clear coat time same process as the primer applied with this
they are, I will roll in some footage of them a tiny bit cleaner. It is crazy how much those new tires do for off-roading. As you can see, the conditions were pretty slick and a little snowy, and those things performed crazy. I just aired down to like 28 PSI, I think, and it was crazy how much they look gripped up, even in those conditions, compared to those all terrains that I have on. Overall, I think the black wheels give it just like a, a clean look and just kind of freshens it up for my eyes. Um, if you like this smaller form factor, let me know, or the shorter form factor of the video, let me know. And then if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you'd like.